Hello friends, welcome back. In this part 2 of my tutorial on Simlink project, I will show you certain features of Simlink project and I will focus mainly on dependency analysis and <coughs> reference project option. So these two are very valuable tools. I hope you have seen the part 1 of my this tutorial where I have shown how we have created one of the git server and in this git server we and in this git server we created a repository and then we are uh, referring to the same repository into two pro uh, projects which is my project and my world so let me open that my world uh, simulant project which is already open from my previous video now in this i will show you the <coughs> first let's see the use of this dependency analysis tool so back and in this dependency analysis you can you can check the dependency of files on each other so this is from my last run so I will just try to clear it up I'm not sure if I do this here it clears up so right now we have only three test one test two test three files all of them are independent so that's why it just lists those files here so let's create first few files which are interdependent. So just to show this, let's create few functions in this simulant project. Say for example, addition, then uh, these, these things I'm just taking for an uh, example so that we can demonstrate the capability of this dependency analysis. So I'll just create addition, multiplication, and then probably I'll show my expression, my expression which will use this addition subtraction to do certain operation yeah so let's let's go to addition first mm, I don't think we need another argument when argument is more than sufficient so this line we can just remove and Yeah, so this becomes my addition uh, function which doesn't depends upon anything it's a simple addition operation similarly I will do for uh, multiplication I don't need this yes again I will just use simple uh, replication okay and now in my expression probably I will just okay again I think one output should be sufficient and apart from that so we can use additional mul multiplication we can show the dependency of my expression on those so what I will do is I will just call probably an addition here addition of input argument 1 control c control v control v i'll change it to input argument 2 and similarly i will do for multiplication multiplication input argument 1 comma input argument 2 yeah so Probably I'm overwriting this value here, so probably I will do something like control this minus whatever. So just like I want to create some kind of expression over here, don't don't go by the uh, like it's a silly formula, silly expression. Don't don't think on that part. So once I have created some expression, so I think this file depends upon other two files. So let's see if our dependency analysis, the tool which option which we get over here, we are able to do that or not. So once I click here and we have to either we can start i think uh, yeah on top this green button if you just click it so this will do for the project level we can also select individual files and do it but since it's a very small project we can do it for the small project so once we have clicked that button we see that over here on the left hand side these are the standalone uh, m scripts and uh, files which we created in my last video and here it shows the dependency of this on these two files so and also if you expand this it will show you the 
line number so <coughs> addition is called in line number four so multiplication is called in line number five you can also uh, expand this legend and see yellow color is for scripting and this orange color is for uh, MATLAB functions and dependency types and MATLAB files so you can also use this for simulating models uh, but I wanted to take a very simple example to demonstrate or or rather let's let's take a bit more complex let's let's now create one more new file and see uh, let's make it dependent on two of these so let me show what I mean say I create my evaluate a new file and go inside this again and <coughs> I don't need this probably and so in this my input argument my so let me first call my expression and inside my expression let me call addition with of course these two arguments input argument one and input argument two I have to call this and comma I will also call multiplication so it will be a three-dimensional dependency so let's see what our dependency analysis tells about this so if you click this and if you refresh oh so you can see that right so I just make it bigger and if you zoom this part we can see no this file is dependent upon all the three files and it, it very clearly shows if we expand it here it shows all three are depending upon the same line number four uh, and yes because we did uh, so we can double click here and it it will directly take it to this particular line where this functions are called and we can see it like that so yeah so this shows a bit of uh, more complex uh, <coughs> uh, type yeah so this is one thing uh, what I wanted to show you now if we go to the modified files we'll see this all these three four new files are there and we can check it into git and then check out from the other uh, simulating project and the same setup will get it in the second simulating project now let me come to this reference project concept what if in the second simulating project <coughs> or let us say not both the simulating project is my world and uh, my project these two are not interconnected uh, through git server rather but they are <coughs> they need to be uh, referred or the functions or the files needs to be shared so how you can do that so that for that you can use this option uh, reference project option over here so let's do one thing let's keep this my world project as it is and go to the second one and see if we can do that so this is the <coughs> my project here I'll try to refer to the other my world project I think I can use this relative path I go one step back I choose this click open and close so now this project is referring to my other project we can confirm this by going to project shortcuts and all the different projects will come here so if we won't have been uh, if we won't have referred to this project so we won't have got this addition uh, function which we have written newly in this place but let's call this addition function one of the test script in this uh, uh, project so we call addition so if you see 2 comma 3 and if you run this F5 it returns so basically when you type this addition it is going to this particular uh, function which is in the other uh, project and not a part of this simulating project if you if you quickly want to verify whether it will work or not we can what we can do is we can go back to our simulating project and remove this uh, reference so for that we can go back to here remove or so you want to remove the reference yes continue so that project has been removed now if I go back to my test run again and if you try to run this command 
so it says undefined function of variable addition because it's not able to find because this function is not a part of this particular similar project and it's not referring to the other similar project similarly if you do multiplication so multiplication say for example again 4 comma 5 so and it, it, it will say the same thing for this multiplication as well that uh, addition okay since it throws a line in the line but see, this line doesn't go so now we will quickly go back to simulating project add this again reference project once again and you can also use the absolute path but here it's okay to use the relative we can have to just go one level up and choose this one and close and then probably I can go back to my days and if no if I run it it will be successful see yeah because no th those files are present over here also one thing I can show you here is if you want to quickly share those files uh, to the other project the git repository is of course one way so for that what you have to go, do is go to this modified files do a commit from this side and um, we do a commit like uh, new files I just add this and before doing a push let me go to the other side and also see if there is any modified files so I do a commit from here as well uh, first project first project and then we do a push then we do a fetch and then we do a pull so I think everything is in sync now we do the same thing from here we have done a committer so there is no modified files but we go back here and do a push the remote update was rejected by the target unable to commit changes because more recent changes have been added to get the latest by fetching and merging ok so it says me to first do a fetch and do a pull in my local and So I think when we did a pull, it got overwritten the files which we had just pushed from the other side and that's why those files are not getting reflected over here. So if you do a fetch again and pull, we, it says shadow project file. Yeah, so we see there are no files in this and the only possible reason which I can think of is because this myproject.prg is a shared project file across both the my world and my project uh, uh, repository or the uh, similar project so that's why the effect done at one place is also affecting the other place and there is a merge conflict so unless you do a resolution using some of the git tools this kind of problems may arise so if you switch back to all files view see we have all files over here similarly if you do the same operation on the other side I think we'll uh, get uh, yeah so see in, in both both the places we are getting uh, uh, the files but of course those files are not available in the project file view and the reason for that is our this myproject.prj has got characters for some reason and we ha we may have to take care of that uh, separately by using the conflict resolution of <coughs> of these files so or, or even we can do revert uh, using git and then we can one by one do, do the changes again so version control can be a little tricky at some time so we have to be careful but otherwise in simulating project where we where they have inherit most of the version control features it works seamlessly and so in this video you show how we can use dependency analysis and this reference project concept to uh, play around and to utilize the project's files from one to another and to check uh, the dependency of one file on many other files so this is a really cool feature and I'll really advise you if you are using play uh, using simulating project then please try to utilize these features of simulating project thanks for watching my video if you have any comment then please do put, let me know 
Otherwise, please subscribe my channel for more updates on Simlink and MATLAB tools. Thank you.